calamity of errors, Richard, um, our son-in-law Brody, uh, backed out of his driveway and hit our car and his car and damaged both cars. So they were <laughs> like, you know how that happens. Like, so anyway, they're both being repaired and they're both finished right now. So they, we had a rental car for most of the week and um, the car's all ready. So that's good. Because I didn't like the rental car. I never drove it at all, but it, not my kind of wheels. It was a Jeep uh, SUV. But I always find Jeeps are, for myself, kind of bumpy. Like they're not as comfortable as our car was. So not that I was in it that much. I'm just complaining just to be complaining, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get this all cleaned up, disinfect the counters, and get ready to make my strawberry jam for our sale. My jars are sterilizing in the oven right here. See them? Probably going to steam up the camera, but there they are. So, yes, I like to do everything, especially if you're going to sell it. Very, very, very clean, you know. So I'll get everything all put away, and then I will I have bleach and water in this bottle, and I just spray everything down and make sure it's all really clean. And yeah, if I get around to it, I'll make rhubarb and strawberry. My goal is to try to get all the jams done before I go to Calgary, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get that done. Oh, this... oh that's timer. Strawberry jam is just a bubble in. Just about ready to take off the burner. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. So I better go and get myself focused so I don't burn myself. There. And ta-da! I made nine jars. This one I'm giving to a friend, so that's why I put the green thing on it. And eat back there for sale first. Craft sale, doesn't it look good? Strawberry jam, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So we're just on our way to the baby shower, but I just wanted to show you if you can see the haze. It's hard to see. See, the sky is really gray. It's not cloudy. That is uh, forest fire smoke. It is, um, there's a fire, is it in Jasper or near Jasper? Jasper, because the, the town of Jasper is about 14 miles from Jasper, so they're carrying the people wow. out. They've evacuated the people out of the town of Jasper National Park, which I've never heard of in my whole life, have you? That they've ever done that? So it's 14 miles from there, which is only four hours from here, so the air quality is horrendous. I was just talking to my daughter and she said that, um, hang on, this isn't very clear, hold on. You can kind of see it in through between this truck. Also, we are stuck, literally halted, on the Anthony Hindi. There's some kind of accident up here so yeah kind of a crazy day but uh, we're half an hour late the shower started at 1 it's 1 32 but I called them and told them I'm on my way nothing I can do about this but yes yeah, so if you can see the haze and my daughter was saying her oldest son you know Turner he has asthma and he had a really bad asthma attack so um, yeah I'm sure it's this air quality isn't helping that very much so, and I'm sure it'll get worse before it gets better because that's usually what happens with these forest fire thingies. So, yeah, here's my presents. And look at the pretty baby shower invitation. The theme is Prince Archer. His name is Archer. Archer Scott. So, and it's all about a prince. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah. Should be there. I guess we'll get there today, Richard. <laughs> Just went oh, did he? Oh, yeah. See, people are riding the shoulder, trying to es escape, not escape, trying to. Oh, it's this lane that's closed here, over here. I wonder what happened. For it, we've been sitting like this for half an hour, people. So it must be bad. Oh dear. Hope nobody was hurt. We've arrived with the camera, camera crews or anything. The news mm -hmm. must be bad. We've arrived at the point of 
blockage. I think nobody's heard. It's global, what's the proper say? We're gonna put on the news and see what's going on. Global? 88, go to 888. Um, 88 FM? AM. AM? Edmonton Police, there's been a fatal crash on the Hende somewhere between Stony Plain Road and 111th Avenue. That stretch is closed to traffic with drivers being diverted around at one delays, though. Police are also seeing the unfortunate number of fender benders as drivers try to force their way off of the hangout tickets to commuters who are trying to cross the center median. In the meantime, we're expecting more details later today about how the crash occurred and how many people were involved. Wow. Another more news. other areas of the park are open to visitors, but Parks Canada warns there is heavy smoke you should watch out for. As for the Jasper Town site, the flames seem to be moving away from the community with no infrastructure in immediate danger. Look at them moving these containers around. So cool. It's kind of, it was up higher before I turned the camera on, but so cool. I went to this place in Las Vegas. If you ever go there, it's called Container Park. It's brand new. And it's like all of these kind of containers that have been, I guess, they don't use anymore. And they stack them really architecturally, like some this way, some that. It's just the coolest thing. And then you climb upstairs and there's little shops and cafes in each one of the containers. Coolest thing ever. It's called Container Park. It has this gigantic metal sculpture of a praying mantis right outside the entrance of Container Park. And it's near Fremont Street. So if you ever go to Las Vegas, check it out. It's really, really cool. Really neat place. And it uses these containers. See that thing moving? That's what lifts them. I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's remote controlled or if somebody's actually operating that. Oh, there's somebody in there. I see him right Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a truck. Because you know those things must be heavy, hey? Imagine if you miscalculated and you go lift it up and it falls. See what I mean? I'm sure in the beginning but they these things are wouldn't be that. I wonder why he's moving them. But instead of having um oh my god everybody is turning right here look. <laughs> oh there he's lifting it now look. Isn't that cool? But I mean, there must be waste yards of containers like this all over the world. There's tons of them. So if you can make a container park, you know what I mean? And it's a funky shopping thing. It, it just looks so really hip and, it's one of those hip and happening artsy kind of. There's a guy that's built, he's building houses up there. The things you see when you're being rerouted, this entire lot is full of just Camaros and Firebirds, it says. Look at them all. That's hilarious. I wonder why. What's he going to do with all those? There's not that many people that have a need for Camaro parts. That looks like a GTO right there. No, it's a Camaro. You see the one on the end? Yeah, it's just it's a Camaro. But it has a GTO's nose. Or a fiber. Look at them all. This could be a museum. Couldn't it? It says Camaro and Firebird. Dave T. So if you have a Camaro and you need some parts, there you go. Oh my god, look at the traffic. This is brutal. Brutal, okay? Brutal. Patience, patience, patience. So this is the home of Teresa's sister. The door is just so beautiful. Love what they did to the it. front door for the baby shower. Absolutely great. So look at this beautiful table of food. Look at this. Gorgeous. And look at the decorations and the crowns. And look at this prince. Teresa's sister's home is just magnificent. And there's Keisha over here. And then we have the baby's name spelt right here, Archer. 
Well, there's, I have open cards first, but I Isn't that pretty? And then there's more over there. Those are little bottles of Prosecco for everyone to take home. And then look up there at the crown. This is big. Oh, isn't it cute? Twin boys. It's amazing. Everything is so beautiful. I'm telling you. And the cake. Look at the fruit. It's just beautiful, beautiful. So she's opening her presents right now. And, uh, so just heading home from the baby shower, but I wanted to show you the beautiful goodie bags we got. It's Prosecco Champagne. For everybody got a bottle like this. Isn't it beautiful? It says thank you on that little tag. I think you can see right there. Isn't that beautiful? What a nice takeaway present that is. We ask for your attention as we review our safety information and features on board the Sea Bus. Before we begin, Please ensure that your carry-on bags are safely stowed in the overhead the compartments plane, located above you or on the floor behind <laughs> your legs. For everyone's safety, please do not place carry-on items or your feet in the aisle. In the unlikely event of an emergency... So Mickey and I are on the E-Bus going to Calgary City and Mickey told me I had to pack white and I could only bring a purse. So this is hers. So it's in your... So I Oh, you actually brought a toiletry bag. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I thought I it wasn't allowed. I have my What? You've got little boings inside of boings. <laughs> <laughs> you brought more crap than me. I thought yeah. you said pack light. Where's your clothes? My clothes are just my jeans. Oh, yeah, and your top. My top. Where's your undies? Lay down in there. I think I did 
well. Are you impressed? Yeah. I was trying to impress my sister. Mine smaller than her, because we have to carry these the entire day through the concert. Love them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do mine. Yeah. Yeah, so they look like purses. We want them to. Yeah. Too. Standing here at the C train in Calgary, and um, Mickey got her ticket. I got mine. Now, I don't. This is. I'm a bourbonite. Yes. Oh, Monica's such a bourbonite. I, I don't do. Oh, this is good shades. I don't do this. Look at these things. It's very different for me. This is so like foreign, even though it's not that foreign, but. For somebody who lives in the birds. There's Mickey. Jeez. Say hi to Sue. She loves you. My friend. Sue. Hi, Sue. She says you're the favorite. <laughs> hi, guys. So we're waiting for the C train, apparently. And we're going to get on the C train, and then we're going to go to the stampede. Right? Right on. Woo! Please, with cowboy hats on. All of them have it. I think it's hilarious. I couldn't take them seriously. They were going to arrest me for something. I just think it's pretty funny. Mickey and I have decided we're going to do a review on carny food. Mini corn dogs. Best thing ever invented. Two a little bucks. taste. Two bucks. Two bucks. Delish. Delicious. Best, oh my god. Best cheap. Cheap as you could, you could feed your kids for under 10 bucks mm -hmm. at the fair. Who can do that? Right. Reviewing the blue raspberry snow cone reminds me of when I was a kid. Only down, but the taste is fabulous. What do you think of the taste? Taste is it. Out of the yeah. world. But I miss the paper because I used to suck the juice from the bottom of the paper. And they're in these kind of cup things, but taste is fabulous. Price is a little high, $4, but it's worth it. And I want a spoon. I'm going to ask for a spoon. I'm really enjoying the fiddle sticks. Yes. But I see that they're bigger this year. Yes. But there's the same problem of them melting yes. before you can get them done. Yes. But other than that, the nuts and the chocolate, it's delish. I'd give it a nine. And well, how much was it? Four. Four fifty. Not bad. But they're way thicker. Yeah. How's the ice cream? Huh? The ice cream good? Very good. I didn't have one yet. Doesn't mean I'm not going to. And my snow cone. This is where I want to slurp my my paper. It's missing the paper. We used to slurp the paper. Oh. It's like it's gone too modern. I don't want this. I want the, my paper cup. We're going to record on the cobs. Clearly, they were good because they're gone. But what do you think, Mickey? I'd say it needed more butter and the carnies hands were a little dirty. We're having a meal. We're making a meal. A rack of ribs. I'm sorry. Oh my god. A warrior of a rack of ribs. All we can say is. Oh my god. 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 So full. Oh the ribs, 12 out of 10. The coleslaw could have used a little bit more mayo, but it would have made you the more full. So in hindsight, look, look, we ate three what total. 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 We cleaned up in the bathroom. How did we do? Don't we look better? We have we're been traveling. We were covered in barbecue sauce. Our covered. Our teeth like had tea, corn and barbecue, barbecue meat. So when you travel with one bag, you have your toothbrush and your floss. So we're all in the bathroom doing our floss, redoing our makeup, our hair. So we're ready. Get it, Mickey. Look, here it comes. Here comes the good part. Here we go. <laughs> Look how close we are. It was worth the trip, wasn't it? So worth the trip. Just know that. Now, but far more importantly than me loving you, I want you to know that the Most High loves you more than anything in the world. Now, Just don't 
So I'm just home from Calgary, got off the bus, walked 18 blocks to my sister's beautiful walk, and then Richard picked me up. And uh, I just want to say Stevie Wonder's concert was absolutely incredible. I'm going to put the link to the article that the man who reviewed it, the uh, from the Calgary Herald, and apparently he's a really critical um, reviewer, but you just have to read it. So I'm just going to end the blog vlog here. I'm afraid my phone's going to have no more space. So thanks for coming along with us on this wacky weekend. It seems like a week ago that I was at the baby shower, but that was just two days ago. And I'm going to go home, take a shower, and eat my caramel apple. Still one more thing. I couldn't fit it in last night. I ate everything but this. So I'm going to enjoy this today, and then tomorrow it's back on being more healthy. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. Say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Was I on that? You are now. Oh. You can say bye now. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. And anybody in the Edmonton area, the E-Bus is fantastic. It's fabulous. Don't take the Red Arrow when you can take the E-Bus. Seriously. The only difference on the Red Arrow, which is 50 bucks more, is you get a cookie, free water, and a coffee. Is free Wi-Fi. I'm all about that. You can plug your phones in. It's great. There's TV. Oh, and there's a movie on the Red Arrow. So, no, it was very comfortable. Lovely uh, coach. And yeah, it was great. So, we'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.